This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and I'm here today to talk to you about choosing roses for your garden. Now, it's very important to realize there's some brand new roses on the market that are excellent for disease resistance and for using in the landscape. Now, here's an example. This is a flower carpet rose. Sometimes these roses that stay compact and small, they bloom continuously, they're disease resistant. We call these landscape roses. They're used as shrubs in the landscape. Now, next to it, we have a much taller rose. This is a hybrid tea style rose, also called Grandiflora rose. This particular variety has very big flowers. And as you can see, it gets a lot taller, takes up more room. These two roses were planted at the same time in my Santa Barbara garden here. Um, and you can see their difference in size. So pruning these roses uh, is slightly different as well. Let's start with this hybrid tea or this grandiflora rose with the very large flowers. You can see all the flowers at the end here are about done blooming. And this branch is sticking way out. We're going to follow the branch. Instead of pruning here, that's just going to cause this branch to still grow tall. We're going to follow this stem all the way down, down to where it's hidden deep in the shrub. And then I'm going to just use loppers to lop it off. Now, loppers are long handled pruning shears, and that way you don't have to get close to the thorny rose plant. And I also use the loppers to try and get this plant out. And that will get chopped up and go into the, the compost pile. Now, uh, the other case, if we go over here with the landscape or flower carpet rose, these roses are so compact, they need very little pruning, but when the entire shrub is done blooming, I'll just go around even with a hedge trimmer and just cut everything back by, oh, six inches or so. And just to encourage new growth, to keep it blooming, but I'm going to wait until I see uh, most of the blooms are done for a second set. Now notice I didn't, don't have to worry with these landscape roses exactly where you make the cut. As long as you shorten it by one third or so, it's going to produce new growth and more roses. So, landscape roses for smaller areas, they're more compact. The great big tall hybrid tea or grandiflora roses when you want height and when you want long stem roses to cut for flower decorations. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti. Keep growing.